How does a person suspect food allergies? Well, usually it's symptoms within a good period of time after ingesting a food. So, for instance, with a peanut, typically within 30 minutes to as late as two hours afterwards, they'll start to have the symptoms I described, the hives, the, the swelling, and so forth. Peanut so. allergy, very common? It is. It's, I mean, for a food allergy, it is one of the more common food allergies and unfortunately tends to be the most severe. So if it's the most severe, people will die from that during yeah, the year? Yeah, unfortunately, that's true. Now, I've heard as many as 50 people a year yeah, will die yeah. with peanut allergies. Yes, yes, it is. And there are some new laws coming in place, too, about having peanut, you know, access to epinephrine in school because that does happen. Now, if somebody has hives, these are itching welts that they have, and they think uh, it may be due to food allergy. How can you tell? Well, really, it's important for an allergist to get a good history of what happened and what the specific food is that they have in question. So, you know, I will ask patients, you know, what food is it that you suspect and how long after eating that food do you develop symptoms? What are those symptoms, you know, specifically? Um, what treatment do you require when you have the reaction? What medications do you take or what, or do you end up having to go see a doctor or go to the emergency room? Um, so it really, the most important starting point with diagnosing is history. So it can be very, very complicated and you have to take a thorough history and you know, the doctor yes. has to take time to take that history. 